we are going to unbox and assemble a Creality High. Let's get to it. Now I know what you're thinking, this video is not even five minutes long. How are we going to assemble a brand new 3D printer in five minutes? Well, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. In fact, I'm not even gonna do it, Zora is gonna do it. And as you'll see in a minute here, she's doing it with very long nails. So let's get started. There, That's all the parts that come with it right there on the print bed. She can do it with those nails, you can do it. There's two screws to put in here, so we'll let her do those. I'm not even gonna speed up the tightening of the screws here. I'm gonna let it run. And this is still gonna take less than five minutes. Unlike the under threes, the Creality High doesn't have to be flipped upside down to put these screws in, which I really like. I really like this style. And on the other side, there's two more. And you can see the cables that need to be plugged in. There's two on the first side and one here. She'll get to those in a second. She puts all the screws in first before plugging in any cables. That is the typical problem with a bed slinger is people are concerned about the assembly of it. They're not sure if they, they're gonna be able to put together this type of printer. That's why they sometimes choose an enclosed printer, but the enclosed printers are more expensive. Now there's these two screws on the back. We haven't flipped it upside down, this is just the back. So a little screw on this side and another on the other side. That is literally all of the assembly. So this printer is being aimed at beginners, first time 3D printer owners. Here it is, the first side that she tightened the screws into, has two little plugs to plug in to connect that gantry to the base. And you can't mix them up, they're two different size plugs. And on the second side, a single plug right there. Actually, those long nails come in handy. She probably did faster than I could have. On the back of the printer itself is this big cable. She plugs that in, and then we put this cover back on. You don't really need to take this cover off to plug the cable in. I just wanted to take it off to show you what it was in there, and it's easy to take off. That cable actually gets threaded into those snaps on the side, and she's getting cocky now. This is just the filament spool holder. Yeah, she's feeling a little cocky now, but we have a couple more pieces to put in. There's these plastic covers. Um, I don't, I think I'm gonna have to go back and check on these after she's done. She's, she tries her best, folks. That's just a cosmetic cover there to put on the, cover up the screw holes. And you can see our cable at the back isn't clipped into the clips yet. I'll have to take care of that. And I'll let her plug in the power cable. There it is. And that is it. We are done. Creality high, everyone. 